So the number one question we've been getting for the past uh, few weeks or so uh, from our clients and, and general uh, public out there is when do we think that it's safer again for, for investors to go back in and buy, uh, I'm going to say equities or, you know, sort of more of a risk on environment. When is the choppiness? When is the maybe bear market over? And so um, I wanted, wanted to do today is just for a couple of minutes, look at something called the yield curve. And, and why, while I think you know, a lot of retail investors are not really exposed to this or think it's boring. It actually really is, is a crucial thing to, that you can yourself watch very simply uh, when it might be safer again to get back into uh, sort of the equity part of the world, again, the growthier part of things. And so what I did here is I, I have this, this, this chart, as you can see, and um, uh, what it has is, is basically two lines. You should see a green line, and then above that, you should see this uh, orange line. And what this is essentially just the yield on U.S. Treasury securities, so anything from short-term uh, bills, T-bills, to, to notes, like, you know, uh, 5 to, to, to 20 plus your paper, and then 30-year bonds. And so what I'd, what I'd like to just show you here is what how this yield curve has moved, particularly between the 2- and 10-year and part of, of the curve. And you can see, if you go back to uh, at the end of 2021, which is, which is what the yield curve looked like in uh, uh, in, in on the 31st of December is this green. Again, green is what the yields yield curve looked like at the end of December of last year. And you can probably even see this visibly that the point between this point here or the slope between this point here, the two-year yield and the 10-year yield, this is a steeper slope than it is basically now, right? So now represents the orange. This is what the yield is like like right now so the yield curve has gotten what we what we say considerably flatter i think this is the way to look at it, the camera like this it's flatter whereas in, in at the end of december it was steeper so the green line particularly between the two and ten year part was steeper uh back in december than it is now and basically what that means is that the entire yield curve uh, has given us a point where, yes, yields are higher. So you can see the two-year yield is certainly higher now than it was back in December. In fact, back in December, we went from 40 basis points in yield up to now 1.13. The 10-year went from roughly, you know, 1.5% to uh, now roughly 1.9%. So the yield curve has gone higher, but it's also gotten flatter. And so what we're seeing here is is the threat of potentially an inverting yield curve. And the yield curve actually already... At, uh, at threat of inverting it at other parts of the curve. But between the two and 10 year, which is what a lot of people look for, we're, 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 still, st we're still flattening and at some point maybe, maybe even uh, inverse inverting. So you have an, a yield curve that will be inverted where the 10 year yield would be below, let's say the two year yield. Again, we're not there yet, but you know, we're potentially, if not likely moving in that direction. As long as this is happening, as long as that yield curve is flattening or maybe even inverting, um, that's not really what you want to consider to be a risk on environment. Once the yield curve starts to, to, to go back into a, a normal sort of yield curve where again, you higher yield, longer day yields are higher than shorter yields. That's when the risk on environment is likely to come back a little bit again. So it's, it's really a very simple thing you can watch. You can probably watch it on most of your financial publications, websites or financial media websites, what the yield curve looks like. So if you monitor that, just look at it once a week, it takes two seconds to look at. And if you start to see that yield curve start to um, increase again, again, normal is that normalized steepen, it should be a better environment for a risk on type of moves. Now, while we are in this environment where the yield curve continues to flat or maybe invert, as long as we're in that environment, we think particularly is important to, to put on positions or trades where, where you're less directionally exposed to the market. And uh, one way of doing that, and we've been doing this now for a long time, is to use a very specific uh, option strategy where we try to mitigate risk as much as possible. Because remember, options can be used for very speculative things, but also for very non-speculative things. And so uh, I'll show you guys how this works in the upcoming webinar. We'll see you there. It's uh, down below. You can uh, sign up for it.